Hey, hi guys, welcome to Cafe IO. Today we are going to be talking about bridging databases and machine learning application. That's right. We are going to be talking about a framework called PostgreSQL, and it's designed to build AI applications within the scope of a database, which is PostgreSQL. It's completely free. You can check out the Git repo called PostgreSQL. I'm going to give a detailed demo of how it works, what are the features, etc. But quickly scanning through the Git repo. It's basically built upon generative AI and uh, the ideology of bringing machine learning much more simpler and making it more available. And there's tons of things it can do uh, within the scope of natural language processing. It can do text classification, token classification, question answering, text to text generation, filling, etc, etc. So it's really simple. It's very much like your select query so you have pgml and then you write you know certain tables which are standard part of it and then you provide certain input variables you expect certain outputs and that's what you get so for example if you are translating so translate called english to french you give an input like an array so there's two things welcome to the future and where have you been all this time as french and you know you get the french translation i don't know french but i'm guessing that's french then you also get sentiment analysis out of the box so you can very clearly call out the task that you're doing and we'll again take a deep dive into this and see what it is about so you have text classification you provide an input and then you get the positivity and negativity score and similarly you can do tons of stuff uh, for example training inference and you can install it in docker or if you want to you know take it for a spin yourself you can just sign up for the postgreSQL cloud which is what i've done it's a free account you can uh, just put your account details google or github sign in works and that's how you can get started it's pretty self start you know self explanatory but uh, we'll we'll take a deep dive in there's multiple options for getting started for example you can you know connect to the database using directly your programming language which is something which i would suggest you can use jupyter notebook tableau tons of different visualization tools like superset etc to do or you can you know on a local installation go to the dashboard and use sql notebooks sql notebooks are really cool and new i haven't seen them before so let's check them out so this is the website quickly talking about the features it's really fast because it's built on an idea of having a shared memory between the data and models in a single process which kind of eliminates all the traffic and congestion between networks you know compute boundaries memories blah 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 it really has tons of models as we will see right now you can train your own model completely end to end you can bring model from hugging face you can you know support different algos like xdboost like gbm those classical ones from skykitlearn etc it's really really scalable because the cloud that they're providing is gpu accelerated which is very good they support a free version which is serverless which is what I'm using and then the rest of the stuff is mostly sales. Uh, you basically have the hang life cycle, train, deploy, predict, and that's how you go it. So we'll go take a deep dive in the interface. And before I do that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you. Let's go to console. So on the console, you have a database, uh, which is this cluster. And you can see status online, it is on AWS cloud and you don't have to do anything here. They or they take care of it themselves. But, uh, you know, just in case you want to monitor it, you have all the details here. You have the connectivity information, connection with PSQL. You can also connect using PG admin, etc, etc. You can have all the activities. For instance, I just uh, executed a query sometime back. You can see some metrics like connections, latency, queries, DB size, clients, etc. I have none. So, well, it's pretty empty. And the events that are happening. So that's the status page. Then you have notebooks, which we will go much deeper in. There's projects, which is something we'll also see. There are models. Uh, okay, let's probably start from notebooks. So the notebook I've selected is a standard uh, problem of handwritten digit classification i'm sure all of you are aware of mnist so this is how a typical notebook interface and i must say it's very neat they have done a really good job of you know designing the interface around it very simple minimalistic works great 
so what you have is you know a data set which is like select star from pgml dot load data set digits so they have a pre-configured data set you can just use your shift enter to run it and it will run or uh, let me just do run all clear all outputs and just run all right and then you can do standard stuff like you would do in a select query so you select the target you convert the array to json and pass the image from the database and you just limit it to 10 so it's pretty standard sql so you can see the this is an image so you can't really visually see the image but uh you know you have the information here but if you're working with something like a text or something you would be able to see and we'll probably try to see another example uh, the images are 8 by 8 everyone knows that so you have now what we do is we train a model so the goal is to build a classification model and uh, the y column and the relationships are described here so you say the project name is handwritten digit in this case it can be anything project is really something which you're creating an, a, a wrapper kind of a stuff which is visible here and it's more suited for doing visualizations and stuff we'll take a look at it quickly shortly sorry then the task you specify which is classification regression and then the rest of the parameter and you very clearly see this which is run once you do this you will be able to see an artifact in model which should come up so you have a model here and what it has done is it has executed multitude of models here you can see the reference scores you can go into more detail uh, you know you can check for other matrices such as precision recall scoring time blah 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 not not really important at this point that's not the goal you can do that for any of the model you can check for fraud okay this was uh, another problem which i ran before so that's the handwritten digits and let's go back to the notebook so that's how you get the model and then you can see some of the predictions here for example you can again select the target and call pgml.predict so you see it says really really easy to make a prediction on machine learning so you have pgml.predict handwritten digits comma image as prediction blah 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 and check put the table name and then you have it so you see most of the predictions are correct again not the intent and yeah and then you have you know you can see all the matrices here printed uh, very nicely in the form of a report which is something you can do in pandas as well so the idea is you don't need to now even learn a programming language if you are well versed in sql you can probably spend a little bit of time in learning this and get your hands dirty very quickly and uh, once you have the projects are trained so what happens is these reports are just printed you can have multiple reports printed and this is not great for visualize visualization uh, but the same stuff that we see in models before is is basically tried to be printed here but again it's just simple select statements what what are the different models that we have run etc etc that we want to see and last uh, you know again trying to predict the matrices which is much better suited if you check out in the project or model and similarly you have certain uh, other information printed like if you want to do some hyperparameter changes you want to you know set it for grid search you want to specify the search parameters which in the within the hyperparameter space you can put all of that and this is slightly more advanced form of training so that's what this notebook is let's go back to projects as well and see uh, what we have so you get the same model information and yeah as we were talking you can see all of them accuracies etc etc uh, what, what what else do we have you have certain snapshots which uh, you know are more like data samples you can upload your data also like if you have a csv file or something you can upload you can manage stuff from here you can manage resources from here currently i'm running on a serverless mode so that's that's uh, free but if you want to go bigger you can always take a paid plan which is a dedicated which it's probably close to 0.6 dollars per hour and you can probably go higher with enterprise like you know private vpc stuff like that so that's that's what this you know demo was about maybe we'll take a quick check on another uh yeah let's take a look at transformers right uh, okay so these are
not recommended to be run because I'm running on free tier. Again, let's see if I get the same warning. These are mostly arithmetical operation. I was more looking for numeric ones or text based. So not that great here. Uh, let's see if we can work. Okay, this is basically trying to work with the internal schemas which is so this good example of uh, well notebooks i would say you can always create a new notebook and they have provided all information here so there's another pgml dashboard okay uh, sorry. yeah so let's see what we get here so yeah that's pretty much what they have in the, the postgres cloud i don't think ton of information and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed again requesting you to subscribe leave in a comment this seems to be a pretty interesting piece of text so do check it out yourself bye bye